Good morning, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And you know what? He made yesterday too, and he gave me a beautiful vision I want to read to you this morning. I know that some of you have already read it because I've seen your comments. Thank you so much for commenting. And thank you so much for coming to this little corner of Father's Vineyard with us. We all meet here together different times of the day, as I, as I say often, but all things are present with God. So one day, one day we will all meet together at the same time and it will be amazing. So here, let me just set this up. Yesterday morning I was spending time with the Lord and I just asked him if he would please give me something to share with the body of Christ for encouragement because of the times we're living in and, and I'm sure that he put that in me to ask for because I believe he wanted to show us these things. Then a little while later, after I did a few things, uh, do, did a few other things in the house, I went back and sat down with my journal because I love to write to him. And I had forgotten that I had asked him for, for a message or a word or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I had asked him to, for some kind of a gift for the body. And here's what, here's what he uh, gave me. I mean, I'm going to read to you what I had started writing or had written before he gave me the vision because it just kind of, to me, it kind of explains why he chose to show what he showed. I said, good morning, Father. Blessings and honor and glory and power are yours forever. Righteous and holy, just and true, faithful and glorious, extravagant in love, abundant in mercy generous in grace, magnificent and majestic, eternal creator, valiant warrior, consummate conqueror, keeper of truth. And that was as far as I got, and then the vision began. I see these words being emblazoned across the heavens as I write them, shining, sparkling, some in solid gold, others in vibrant colors, all accompanied with music. Some songs are deep, rich notes and chords. Some songs are similar to what a processional played by a marching band would be, only much, much better. Encircling all of it is an army of trumpets, gold and silver in color. I see dancers with beautiful banners waving them in the air, all proclaiming the name of the Risen One, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I hear choirs singing, many choirs, even with, each with a different song, yet all singing the same thing simultaneously. I see all male choirs and all female choirs, as well as groups of both male and female. I see children's choirs dressed in beautiful white garments and other children's choirs dressed in beautiful colors of every kind. Even the laughter of the children are songs of music. I see processions of animals coming to honor the king, bowing in respect and filled with great joy and appreciation. I see waves lifting up and crashing like cymbals, even as the waters join in the song. I hear streams and brooks bubbling like bells and rivers running like the sounds of stringed instruments, violins and cellos and violas and such, singing in harmony and wildly joyful in praise to the living water. I hear the voice of many waters answering with great and overpowering love. I see flocks of birds soaring high, circling, diving in unison, sounds of music pouring forth from the beating of their wings and the cries of their voices. I hear the sound of the wind bringing forth the songs of the trees as it passes through their branches. I hear the music of the leaves as the, as the wind lifts and turns each one, and the sounds are the words they speak of love for the Creator God. 
I see flower petals dancing, each to the sound of music pouring out through leaves and stems drenched in the love of God. I watch as the great beasts make their way to the throne, there to bow in reverence and awe before their maker. I hear the sounds of beings beyond my vision, beings so great in size and majesty, terrible to behold, beyond description, beyond mighty, beyond understanding, fierce warriors and defenders of our God. Created and answerable to him alone, they are too fierce to be allowed to see in this human state. I see waves of color like enormous ribbons, wide and long. They move with graceful ease, undulating with the music that flows from their being, weaving and winding their way across the land. Each color has a fragrance all its own, and a sound, a song all its own as well. Their songs, never ending in composition, are always songs of praise and adoration. I see clouds filled with jewels that sparkle in brilliant color as the shapes of each cloud shifts and swims across the skies. I see the jewels fall like rain and watch as the ribbons of color dance in the beautiful rainfall. I see houses made with walls of water and floors of sand beautiful and white, others with glorious color. I see houses made with every kind of flower, and others still made with stars. And I see benches made with soft cotton and water slides for children made of only water. I hear a sound, a call to worship going out across the land. All creatures turn to go up as one great assembly to the throne of the great I Am. Man, woman, child, beast, angelic host all turned to go up. Every creature, every part of his creation was singing. And as I watch, he gives his undivided attention to each one. No one left out, no one ignored, no one overlooked. He is not in a hurry to move on to the next worshiper. Each one will be embraced. Each one will be honored by his love and his presence, his time and attention, as if they were the only one he created. And I see him turning his gaze in my direction to say, this is just a glimpse that eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man what great things he has in store for his people. I hear him say that what he has shown is a moment and a time of worship in his kingdom. He says there will be much more to be seen, to hear, and to enjoy when his precious ones are home with him at last. He says that we are to let our hearts be light, even in the days of trouble ahead, to think on and remember his great promises and all that he has taught us about who he is. He says that joy in him will carry us through, and we need to be practicing that joy every day. He also gave these verses from Isaiah 30 for a reminder of how we should be living these days, even in the midst of the darkness we see all around us, darkness that will increase. There is a mindset he wants for his people, and the example is found here, and I'm going to read those verses. You shall have a song as in the night when a holy festival is kept, and gladness of heart as when one goes with a flute to come into the mountain of the Lord, to the mighty one of Israel. The Lord will cause his glorious voice to be heard and, the sh and show the descent of his arm with the indignation of his anger and the flame of a devouring fire with scattering tempest and hailstones. For through the voice of the Lord, Assyria will be beaten down as he strikes with the rod and in every place where the staff of punishment passes which the lord lays on him it will be with tambourines and harps and in battles of brandishing he will fight with it may our great and mighty god the almighty god the mighty father be glorified in each of us every single day and night for the rest of our lives you guys God bless you all. We love you very much and we wrap our arms around you right here in this little corner of Father's Vineyard with great, great, great love. 
Have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.